Hey guys, welcome back. This is once again Shy Guys on Stilts from the last part. Uh, take this up. What the heck? Did you see that? Oh, there we go. Oh wait, no, you don't have to take this one up. Okay, hit this. Flower seed will appear, and there's your flower. Woo! And take this all the way up. Oh, to make those things work, just jump on them, by the way. It should be obvious, but yeah. <laughs> Too bad I had to cut off the camera. There wasn't much left to this level. Oh well. I think after I finish this walkthrough, I'm gonna do all the extra and special stages on the Game Boy Advance version where I have them all unlocked. I may, I'm not sure. But it, because I don't know how it'll be, you know, recording it. I got a um, Game Boy player on the GameCube that I can play uh, Game Boy Advance on the TV, so uh, I sh I'll have the chance to be able to uh, play it much, or I should say record it much easier than if I were to play it on the Game Boy Advance handheld system. Oh, I forgot this is Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy, one of my favorite levels. Watch this. Yoshi is now high. <laughs> Kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm topsy-turvy. You have more control in the air than you do on the ground, by the way. So, when, I, when you hit one of these things, stay in the air. Oh, I'm getting nauseous. Okay. <laughs> That part's so much fun. I love fuzzies. I wonder if Yoshi gets addicted to them, like crack or something. <laughs> and that's the end. Yeah, pretty short level, but very fun. Ding. And the last castle of World One. Salvo the Slimes Fort. Oh, okay, castle. I was close. <laughs> okay, see these things? When you stand on them for too long, they spin and drop you. You can press up to walk. Whoops. I'll show you on one that's uh, slower. Here we go. You can press up to walk with them. Oh, wait, maybe you can't, huh? I thought you could. I thought you're, you can be able to walk with them up and down to keep them from falling, but I guess not. Fish like this don't hurt you, by the way. They just push you back. Uh, I think it's this way, not up. Uh, yes. Okay. If I recall, hit this one. Leave the red one. Wait a second. Um, how did this puzzle go? It's a it's a switch puzzle that flips these spiky platforms. Okay, hit this red one. Now go back down here. Yeah, you can hit them with an egg, by the way. Now go on this platform. Take this up to here, and guess what's in the vase? Come on, just take a guess. Yeah, it's a key. <laughs> And over here, the platform should be safe. And there's your key. That's your door, I mean. Keyhole in the door. There we go. And see these spinny things? As you stand on them, that's the direction that they go. To make them change direction, just jump off them. They'll start spinning again. And there you go. Checkpoint! I think the boss is coming up. And there we go. This boss is easy. And run on forward. Okay. <laughs> Little slime. It's Dragon Warrior. Okay, no, it's not. Hi there, cute little Yoshi. Does baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? No! I'll take him there in a hurry. Slime drop! Okay, basically all you have to do is hit him with eggs. 
they'll reduce in size. This boss is actually a mini boss, or I should say a regular enemy later on in the game. You'll see. Only it's a slightly modified version. Basically, the point of the boss oops, is to hit or bounce you into the lava. When he does that wavy thing, you can't hit him with an egg, so don't even try. That thing. And he's almost done. Yeah, as, as you can tell, the smaller he gets, the harder he is to hit. Oh, I got him! <laughs> hey, I can't cancel out my egg. <laughs> Woo! A little, uh, our big eyes, little body. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the end of World 1. Be proud of yourself! Woo! But it only gets harder from here. Now listen to the music. They're gonna add another instrument in the background, if you didn't know. For every level you beat, another instrument gets added. Little Yoshi, see him there? Claim this land in the name of Yoshi! Alright, here's World 2. Visit Koopa and Parakoopa. Yeah, this is the first level that they introduced these guys. Oops, <laughs> that really sucked. Basically, jump on them or lick them up and that'll put them in their shell or knock them out of their shell, I mean. And then you can roll them across the ground. Not gonna get that flower. Oh, and some of these blocks fall, so look out. Like, you have to use these blocks to get, like, red coins. Like that. It's not that hard, really, if you're trying to get a perfect score on this level. But, oh my god, some of these are really hard to get perfects on. Oh, he's playing with the egg. Okay, maybe I should show you how Poochie works right now, just to explain here. Whichever direction Yoshi's facing, that's the way Poochie will go. Jump here! Okay. <laughs> and, like, watch this. Like, see, I'm um, to the left, now to the right, to the left, to the right, and you can get him to stay in place if you keep going left and right like this. That's an easy way to control Poochie. Now, let's get back. Oh, by the way, those spikes are instant kill spikes. Woo! So, yeah, that's how Poochie controls. You're gonna need to know how to use that in, uh, uh, extra stage, I believe. Uh-oh, auto-scroll Tetris death! Don't get squished. Please don't get squished. Uh, I'm gonna cut the camera off here. I'm nearing 8 minutes, so I'll see you guys in the next part.